Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to verify the game file. Now for this, make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable ray tracing. If you are able to launch the game, you can disable the ray tracing in, in settings. If you are not able to op launch the game, in that case, you can go to config file open as uh, file explorer this pc c drive users username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder open this folder and then saved folder config windows folder and then game user settings and then find ray tracing over here if the ray tracing is set to true you can type in false over here and then you can file save launch the game and then check if it is already set to false you can type in true save it relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename the rename or delete the config folder now for this uh, you can go to this location go to this location over here you can see config folder when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost now to rename it make a right click on config folder and then you can rename it once you rename it relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game you can close this launch the game and then check still not working make a right click go to properties once again type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename the this folder gaming repair gaming repair script also rename this repair.vdf file create a backup of this folder first now for this you can go to the game installation folder make a right click manage browse local files here you can see gaming repair gaming repair script gaming repair.vdf copy this create a backup first once you have a backup created over here keep the backup because if something wrong happens you can put it back so you can now you can rename this gaming repair make a right click and then you can rename it and then gaming repair script you can rename this and also rename this gaming repair dot vdf once you rename it click on yes to allow and then now launch the game and then check so over here you can see the game is launching so that should work if you face any problem in that case uh, you can you can just put the original uh, files and folder back to the or you can simply you can revert back revert back that means you can just you have renamed so you can just remove the rename uh, dot cold uh, so i will remove this if you face any problem otherwise it's fine or you can simply you already have a, a original folder and file so you can replace it over here and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time you can try windows 8 hit apply click on ok at the end of each step try to relaunch the game if that does not work try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok go back back again back make a right click on auto world 2 and then run as administrator from here and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings privacy privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow 
click on add and allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again add an allowed app browser apps open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder add both the exe file in my case i have already added again allow another app click on browse and select the first exe file add i have already added and then you can launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now the next step is to run uh, Install this Visual Studio files. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Visual Studio file, download this x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. Run it. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. And download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Click on repair. If you see the repair option, click on install. If you see install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart the computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website and then select your card your graphic card your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and let the download complete uh, once the download is complete you can run this exe file click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and once that is done restart the computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search bar click on graphic settings Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance over here again add desktop app and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance over here and then launch the game desktop users connect the HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now, the next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA apps. So, NVIDIA card users, you can launch NVIDIA app. If you don't have it, install it, launch NVIDIA app, and then you will see the game over here. Now, you can launch the game from here. You can click on play over here, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can go to settings or you can go to graphics over here, and then you can select the game. Now, once you select the game, on the right hand side, if you see optimize option, optimize the game and then check so in my case i don't see optimize but in your case once you select outer worlds 2 if you see optimize like this optimize it this is just an example and if it is already optimized in that case you can revert revert the optimization and then you can go to settings over here and turn off this nvidia overlay and then launch the game now the next step is to try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a right click show more option go to nvidia control panel and then go to help option at the top and put a check on debug mode so here make sure uh, debug mode is checked and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then restore the nvidia control panel settings now for this go to manage 3d settings global settings restore yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and then you can relaunch the game once done relaunch the game and then check Next step is to use Intel driver and support assistant to update your Intel drivers. Now for this, you can go to Intel website, go to the official website, Intel driver and support assistant, download it, install it, and then you can launch Intel driver and support assistant. And once you run it, if there is any update, it will, it will scan your computer. And if there is any update, you can click on download all and then install all. After download is complete, you will see install all. And once the installation is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to enable or disable Steam overlay. 
go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on if it is already off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app turn off overlay and close all the overlay application and then check do not overclock you can set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have an msi afterburner revert you know any kind of overclocking application running close it close all third party application and services make sure only the steam is steam and game is running rest close everything now if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz this is just an example then you can lower it down to 120 or maybe 60 hertz and then check disconnect multiple monitor if you have multiple monitor setup disconnect it try to launch the game on primary monitor and then check next step is to disable onboard graphics now for this if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here in my case is intel integrated graphic card make a right click and disable device and now you can launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game you can make a right click on integrated and enable device once again now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can scroll down click on view more version and then you can try maybe the older graphic card driver but when you download it and when you uh, run the exe file when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and then restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to update windows the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart again here and after the system restart you can check still not working try power saver mode so type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here in my case i have only balanced but if you have power saver option like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced to relaunch the game and then check you can even try high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check you might have to restart a computer once and then if it is already on then turn it off then relaunch the game and then check still not working install directx file now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description click on download run the cxe file click on yes to allow and then click on accept next uncheck install bing bar next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you will see finish option hit finish restart the computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number like if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website select your computer and then go to drivers page and find bios and then update the bios download it install it before you install in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 
megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now it's still not working the next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game turn off ray tracing go to uh, graphics settings turn off hardware ray tracing you can try window mode or you can even try borderless lower down video settings like if if the uh, all the settings are set to ultra you can try uh, you can try maybe high or medium performance and then check the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have otas wheel pedals racing wheel razor tartarus if you have any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer like usb flash drive thumb drive any kind of ex like sometimes you have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect external keyboard and mouse uh, like if you have key crown keyboard razor huntsman keyboard remove the dongle of this these uh, these hardware and then if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game uh, install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel